you're the one who got away and someone is realizing it. This is part three of the series. You guys are not concerned about what's going on with this person's life. You're not concerned. You're not worried about it. You feel that this person is pulling on your energy. You feel that this person at some point had some kind of um, impact and uh, someone whom you empowered at some point. Yes, nine of swords. And this person right now cannot stop thinking about you and is triggered, especially at night. I feel this person is remind is reminded of your beautiful, positive energy. And it's really at night that they can't hold back. During the day, they're working. They can actually find ways to balance out this energy. They can find ways to moderate their uh, anxiety. But at night, things change 10 0, 1. so late at night around 10 p.m. this is the time this person thinks about you a lot the hermit ace of cups <laughs> the nine of pentacles and the two of swords and right now all they think about is can I offer you something I'd love to show you my love I want to show you how much I feel for you yes for by the way we have Virgo we have um, Pisces Cancer Scorpio and we have Sagittarius and this person is knowing that you guys have glowed up so much you changed your energy level to the point that it's all blocked from them even if they tried even if they came towards you it's blocked many of you have actually blocked them you're not even wanting to feel their energy you're not even wanting to listen to them at all and this person is basically ready to step down from their pedestal this is the kind of person who used to be on an ego kind of energy like you know i'm better than everyone i'm so proud i'm so proud of who i am five of swords but it was just all a lie for themselves they've been fooling themselves queen of swords libra energy the moon cancer and the strength card with uh, Leo. You guys are just uh, glowing. You're not afraid to say what you think you should say. You're not afraid to set up strong boundaries. And I feel many of you, you've um, conquered a certain fear here recently. And this is glowing up. It's helping you actually increase your confidence level. I see your solar plexus opening up, your throat chakra opening up because you've, con you've conquered this fear here. Something that was holding you back from moving forward and something that used to make you feel like um, you're never going to succeed in life. The world, yes, you've accomplished something. And this accomplishment, you guys, you might think that it's a little thing. No, actually, it's a big thing. With the world, you closed the cycle. You changed your whole uh, perspective on something. And now, all new, fresh starts are coming. And it's a new path for you, you guys. Two of Pentacles, something that you've been juggling in terms of taking charge, moving forward with that. And you're deciding, okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. And it was a long time coming. You're finally stopping to hold back from that energy. And you're finally deciding that, yes, it's time to invest in that. And with the Knight of Swords, I feel many of you are going to start reaching towards that um, energy really fast because things are gonna start moving really fast for you once you start moving forward with that energy. And it's going to help you invest um, in yourself you guys are deciding you know what it's worth paying that one thousand dollars on that course because you know what this is where I want to be and this decision is actually changing everything in your life five of swords page of Pentacles and the lovers you're making a decision here every time I was uh, just investing small amounts of money or small amount of energy on myself I was actually fooling myself I would just put myself in sabotage and I would doubt myself and I would be real, um, always going backwards, never really moving forward. But with the lovers, you're making a choice. You're deciding that it's time to move forward and it's time to actually be determined in your choices with the, with the chariot. Many of you are going to be climbing up in your career. Some of you are actually starting a business. Some of you are starting, um, a, I'm hearing, um, a love blog so some of you are blogging about love or romance or some kind of counseling around romantic relationships i also see some of you working with youth uh, maybe teachers here we have the star wow aquarian energy by the way we have cancer gemini aquarius and you guys are really standing out because you're doing that um you're standing out for everybody around you you're becoming the star you're recognized for who you are you're becoming the authority in what you do you're becoming um the go-to person okay 
And with the nine of swords, you're going to attract many people who are in trouble, many people who need your help, many people who cannot uh, stand where they're at, and they're going to be reaching out to you to help them, to counsel them. King of Cups, you're leading others with your heart, and you are um, you were supposed to be doing this. You were supposed to be doing this, but it was a time for you. You needed this time to actually work on your energy, to work on your own vibration, and to heal through all the challenges and obstacles in your life. With the, the hangman energy, you're becoming, you're becoming the enlightened one. You're becoming the enlightened one, especially in your entourage. People are coming your way, and they know that around you, they feel safe. They can actually speak to you about whatever is going on with them and you have a solution for them and you're going to be holding space for them king of cups by the way strong pisces energy and you're going to have many people moving towards you okay what last guidance for you guys to close this reading guidance for you six of wands ace of wands wow eight of pentacles and three of swords okay guidance for you if you've been working on your heart chakra continue working on your heart chakra you guys have been working on some kind of wound here that was difficult to heal around your broken heart it could have been connected to a work situation something here that was difficult to hear to heal and you need to continue working on that if you feel that it's the right thing for you to do but the universe is telling you there's a new opportunity for you be um, ready to take it with the Six of Wands. Do not hesitate to put yourself first. Do not hesitate to put yourself first. We have Aries energy here, strong Aries energy. We also have Leo and Sagittarius. Do not hesitate because you've worked hard for this, relation, for this relationship maybe, or this connection, or this situation, or this opportunity. You've worked hard for it. You deserve this. Please don't block yourself. One more guidance for you. Ten of Pentacles, you are acquiring big um, opportunities here. And these opportunities are going to bring you a lot of legacy, especially when it comes to your family, your long-term uh, finances, your long-term career. So don't hold back. And when it comes to relationships, there's going to be other relationships coming your way that are going to be worthy of your time. They're going to be the kind that you can actually build long-term with queen of wands remember this is you you're the ambitious one you're the one who is able to create anything you want in your life i hope this was helpful i love you guys so much